Welcome back to another episode of The Heavy Burns Extremely Magical Original Directory of Super Passable Hardware, a specially refined edition for Skyrim. Or the Modosphere for short. Today we're doing something a little different. I just saw a new mod released on the Nexus by a user named Corsair Fire one which overhauls the grabbing physics for every item in the game. In fact, let me just show you. So this is vanilla, and you all know what happens when you pick anything up in vanilla. It just flops around the place and doesn't really give you any structure. Well now I've turned the mod on, and as you can see, it keeps it straight and sturdy, and makes it a lot easier to stack things on top of each other without everything exploding and falling apart. And as standard, my brain went straight to, Yo, I wonder what happens if you threw like a load of cheese wheels on top of each other? So that's what I'm going to do. Now I don't actually know how big a thousand cheese wheels is going to be in game, so I'm currently in Dragon's Reach and I'm just hoping that there's enough ceiling space in here. Also I went ahead and disabled all the NPCs in this building because if one of them walks into my pyramid and knocks it down, I swear to god. There is no escape. Okay, first let's give ourselves some cheese wheels. And that's the one we want to go for, so let's give ourselves... 999 more of that. Perfect. And we'll start putting them down. So we have to do this one at a time because else they'll stack. So let's just do this. I'm just going to start placing them down one by one. So my tactic for this actually is probably... Excuse me. Excuse me. You, sir, need to leave. You cannot be interrupting my pyramid. Anyway, as I was saying, my tactic is... I just ate one. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Tactic is to start off with a little cross and get the formation down. And then we'll build around that and try and make it into a circle. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. So that's the base of our pyramid, and I'm not going to lie, it does seem a bit small. But the idea is that we build it up, and because of all the bits in between, it's uh, going to fill up a bit more. And we can expand the edge if we need to later, but you can see I've already stopped. <clears throat> you can see I already started on the corners, so we'll fill those in, and we'll get a bit of a circle going on. Okay, there's our base filled in, um, and we're on 940, so we've used 60 and 81. So, uh, this is starting to look like <laughs> we're not going to use all 1,000, but I promise you, we're going to use all 1,000. So, what's next? I guess we probably should expand the base forward and backwards, because we have the room for it. And then, is this going to be a bit of a lob-shaped pyramid? But that's fine. We'll just uh, do that. We'll probably just go three or four more on each side. See what we can do there. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, this is going to be interesting. Um, because now we're actually going to try and stack them. So, let's see how the physics actually handles this. Oh, and cheese update. We're now on 887. And now let's try and... I guess we have to start from the middle, right? Can we even reach the middle? Oh, no, I didn't think about this. Yeah, that'll do it. Slide them along. There we go. See, no problem. There's always a solution to every problem. Anyway, I'm going to fill all this in and I'll be right back. Okay, there's our second layer of cheese done. Um, and as expected, we use 10 less. So that's that's kind of what you would expect. You know, as you go higher and higher, you're going to use less and less around the edges. Um, there is a slight gap in the middle there, but yeah, it's just work with it. You know how it is. I guess there's nothing else to do apart from keep stacking. Just going to cover up the hole. Yeah, no one will tell the difference. Listen, if that little gap there is the difference between this standing and this collapsing, then fair play, but I doubt it will be. No! Who are you? Who the hell are you? 
Get out of here! The storm coat co No, 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 no. You just ruined- Ah. Okay, there's the third layer done. <laughs> it's starting to get a bit jaggedy, but uh, it'll hold its formation. Maybe, probably. We'll find out. Next, the fourth layer. By the way, I'm already over an hour in. We're not even halfway through this, so... Ah, this is so long, man. Just be glad you're watching and not building, because you're probably about five minutes into the video. I'm about two hours in. <laughs> oh, what is my life? Next layer. Why did I think this was a good idea? It's not. I'm straight up going to have nightmares of stacking cheese tonight. And you know what? I'm here for it. Cheese! Oh no, I'm going to say. Oh no. Another layer down. Another brain so lost. I think the pyramid is a good visual representation for my insanity right now. At the bottom, there's a chance, there's a dream, there's some formation, and as you get closer to the top, it just turns chaotic. And we're only... <laughs> oh, someone save me. Save me. 666, the number of the devil. Jeez. Should I place them structurally? Yes, I'm a gonna. No. Triple cheese backflip. I want it. I want the cheese. Precious. No, can't have it. Cheese is mine. Mine. You will not have the cheese. The cheese is mine. Master, the cheese. The cheese. Oh, but you will get the cheese, my precious. You will get the cheese. Topsy, topsy, cheesy, wopsy. Cooked beef, I will eat my yam. Oh, I'm Yoda. Yum. Cooked beef I shall eat. Cheese I shall drop. Pyramid I shall make. I like that I wanted to make this structurally sound, but now I'm just throwing it on. Drop, 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 drip, drop, drip, stop, clop, clip, clop, flop, clop, cop, stop, mop, stop. Clop, clip, clop, clop, eat, oh, 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 eh, oh, me, me, ah, me, me. 155? Cheats he can. Place the super and have less cheese in his inventory he can. No! Stop it. Oh look, a cheese, a mysterious stair cheese that wants to join the pile. Don't worry, stair cheese, I won't leave you out. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Hello, dead body cheese. Would you like to join the pile? Yes, I would like to join the pile. Oh, join the pile, friend. We welcome all here. Hey, you. Hey. No moving. Okay. Thank you. Who wants a well-scripted and informative video showing off thousands of mods that fit a specific genre? Let's just stack cheese! <laughs> cheese! More cheese, please! For every cheese we drop, we're going to eat three. What is that you said? That's more than three. <laughs> hey sir, what would you like for dinner to- Cheese! But sir, we don't sir- Cheese. Sir, we have beef, we have pasta, we have spaghetti- Cheese. Whose idea was this? Oh wait, it was mine. <laughs> Drop the cheese. No, not like that. Cheese avalanche, incoming. Cheese. Okay, I've got a new plan. I don't know why I didn't think of this from the start, but I've thought of it now. There's a fine line between insanity and genius. And I think I just found that line. You may have thought I was crazy. You may have thought I'd lost it. You may have thought that the cheese had gone to my head. But no. T-C-L. K. 
collision off. Raise myself above the cheese. Imagine me saying at the start, I hope the ceiling was large enough. Hmm. Anyway, we will drop the cheese. The cheese will form in a circle around us, in a tight environment. And when the cheese is released, the cheese will explode a thousand... Oops. Oh, no. I think I just dropped, like, 700 of them. The cheese will drop and collide with each other on the way down. And in a beautiful explosion, a circular, spherical explosion of cheese, the pyramid will form betwixt our eyes. Now, the only downside to this is it might fall, then explode, and then erupt our entire cheese pyramid into the stratosphere. But guess what? That's the price we pay for greatness. Ten more to go. I think I just dropped three. One, eight, I can't count. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let the cheese erupt. <gasps> the TCL. The TCL counts for the cheese. Show us the holiness of your aura. Show us what you can do. None of the cheese landed on the pyramid! And here we have it, ladies and gents. The glorious cheese pyramid. <laughs> this video was meant to be so good. It was meant to be sky high a glorious cheese pyramid and this is what we've ended up with and in the end ladies and gents nothing really mattered because the whole point of this was to show off a mod and the mod doesn't even affect the cheese so the moral of the story was all along i should have used plates now the moment i know you've all long awaited the only reason anyone would ever do this. You know what? That was worth it.